with this game? <laughs> I can't deal with this game. I can't. I can't play this game. Oh my god. I, I don't know what to do, chat. The EA blacklist people. Sometimes it really feels like this. When I see big, big streamers pack insane polls, I always think to myself, how is that possible? Because I do exactly the same. And I never, I'm talking never, pack anything big. And if I do it, it's always untradeable. This year, we haven't packed anything big so far. We only pack untradeables, nothing tradables that I can use to improve my squad. I see noobs packing big, big pulls. Why is this always the case? I don't understand it. I mean, the game hasn't been the same since FIFA 13. FIFA 13 and downwards, the game was brilliant. Everything was clean, pure. Everything was good. There was no... Nobody talked about a blacklist, a red list. Nobody talked about scripting, DDA, RNG, EA servers. The game was pure nothing. But again, EA Sports had to select a new CEO. Since they dropped FIFA 14, the game has never ever been the same. Up until now, every year the game declines and declines and declines. And I will show you in this highlight, I took one game out because one game is enough to prove to you that EA Sports have some kind of thing that they run behind the scenes. There must be a blacklist and a red list. A red list is for streamers or noobs who always pack the big ones to make you think that you have a chance of packing yourself while you know you will never pack a R9 or an Mbappe or stuff. It's not gonna happen unless you spend a lot of money. This is how it is. But in these highlights, what I'm gonna show you is a game what you can't not win it's impossible this is what i'm talking about the money follow the money in esports you cannot win this game because this game is meant to make you lose you will also see my rewards of course what we got after and you'll see us open three different packs and these are the packs that i'm also talking about that i saw noobs packing the biggest polls ever but you're gonna see what we pack and how and why i say this because there's a reason why i say this so i would recommend you watching the whole video to get a full understanding of why i say these things and why i believe ea sports have some kind of blacklist or something like that because when you think about it why would people who play the game a lot that never ever stops why should ea sports reward those people why should ea sports reward good fifa players it's not good for business. They know they're going to continue playing the game while rewarding noobs who will probably go and play Fortnite or Call of Duty. You have to reward them to stay in the game or else they will just leave. If you don't give them an R9 or Mbappe or Lucio or Vula or whatever, they will just not continue playing this game and that's bad for business. And watch this whole video to get a full understanding. You with the low intentions band who skips the video all the time. Bip, bip, bip. You gotta wake up. If you don't watch the whole video, you can't wake up for the Matrix, okay? You cannot learn anything. People do not want Papeng. Although in real life, Papeng, he was one of the best. Yeah. It's wrong matchmaking. It has nothing to do with my internet provider. Good finish, mind you. Might be able to produce from this position. We have had a horrible Wigan League chat. I can't play this game. I can't play this game. I need to invest money. I can't. I, I can't do it anymore, chat. It's starting to, you know, when I just invested the one million uh, into the team, it was okay. You know, I could feel the explosion. We moved up in the divisions. We did good in weekly league. It's just, oh my god, man! Now it's just. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. The supporters want to see him have a go. It's crazy how much it affects my my uh, gameplay. Zaha, it's got to be, and it's in. 
It's like I have no defense. Look at this rider. Certainly shown an ability to counterattack when they win it. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. This guy he scores too many easy goals. Underway again. We can't complain about a Why is the player switching off? I can't play a switch. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. I can't play a switch. <laughs> Now, before we continue, I've taken this clip out for a reason. You just saw it in normal time. And now we're slowing the clip down because my issue here, I said I couldn't play a switch. And you will see how long it took us to play a switch to the correct player. Now, I don't know what it is, if this is the EA servers or just EA Sports making player switching so annoying because I remember back in 15 or 16 the player switching was correctly there was nothing about player switching check this out i've slowed it down look it switches to renato then it switches i don't know who because kyle walker he doesn't have a dot over his head but player switches to papeng why would a player switch to papeng why would i do that impossible no i want to play a switch to kyle walker because he is gonna take the ball he's gonna run up the pitch look where, where where's the player switching now kyle walker just lost the player switching where is it i don't even see it where look look look, look at the player switching it is up mendy why would a player switch to mendy I, I swear to God, I'm using this. I will show you. I'm using this to play a switch. This, bang, bang, bing, bing, bing. This is the one I used to play a switch. And also this, if it doesn't work. But this time, it didn't work. This is what I'm talking about. There's so many things in this game that makes you lose on purpose. Look, 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 look. Now it plays with the Rodiger. Okay? Why Rodiger? why the guy has hernandez down here now a player so i don't know who a player is with to where's the player switch i'm trying still trying to play a switch to kyle walker and you can see that his saha is running in a dangerous position switches to van dyke now why van dyke it has to be kyle walker again now it switch to Kyle Walker and now obviously it's too late this is my issue why on earth have they made this so bad is it the EA servers or is it EA sports making this on purpose because I remember back in the day you could play a switch to the man that was just to your left or right you, you basically chose yourself and I've gone into the setting the controller settings to try to put it on relative or, or everything but it's still the same it does not change at all let's just look at it slow motion again look, look at how long it takes for me to play a switch to Kyle Walker it's just insane just look just look how long it takes boom there back to the clip yeah. half time Imagine if we don't play any, any more Germans anymore. <laughs> My God. I know that um, Boris Legend, he also complained about this a lot. He was praying to God that he didn't face Germans sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's because it's so important. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Uh, look, look. I can't with this game. <laughs> Yeah, Netherlands as well. You have a server there. What should I do with this game? I don't know what to do with this game, Chad. I don't know what to do with this game, man. I have no idea what to do with this game. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something. This game is so shit, I swear to God. Who's gonna get on the, end the only thing he's good at is dribbling.
Have you ever seen that man? What are these goals? Ch ch Chad, what? what happened to FIFA? Can't even pass it. <laughs> he gets the score. What, 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 what is this game? I'm just trying to understand what is this game. But how can you play serious when this game is like this? I don't, I don't understand it. I'm too much woke. I know what the Matrix is about. I, I know too much information. That's why my mind cannot comprehend these things. I start to lose focus when this shit happens. It's all about money. Now you've seen the whole highlights. You saw. This is just one out of many games. This happens a lot. And I always see this happens when we have won like four games or five games in a row. Because obviously EA Sports want to make it lose, to make it frustrated and spend money on this game. This is the truth, okay? That's why I said you have to watch this whole video. Talking about the package, the blacklist that I talked about. This is a Nation Foundations pack, okay? We have this one. We opened even the 2000 and I believe the day after we opened another one of these. And I have seen... On Twitter, on TikTok, people pack the most insane polls. I've seen somebody pack R9, Villa, Ginola, v all these these big, big players, Lucio as well. But take a look at what we pack and what you can expect. Because I know a lot of you guys also have the same issue as myself. You have bad pack luck and you have really, really bad gameplay. Check this clip. Christmas! okay people let's go nation foundations pack by EA sports this should be juicy let's open see what we get come on ea come on ea give us something give us a gold card yes see, th this is why sports this is exactly why i love them wow 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 incredible incredible who is ready to open a path to glory essentials 2000 fifa points let's go come on ea sports what can you give me an inform a danish inform a goalkeeper wow he gave me smichael okay what will be in it Get ready we're not done this is the final one okay and then i'll show you my uh wiggle league rewards we open this one and i've seen people pack the most insane pulls but this is what we pack we pack the pie i would have been glad if the pie was at the start of fifa but now it's not the same look this is what we pack let's go Best wiggle league of my life. Let's go. First one. Smigel. Uh, uh yeah, we're definitely taking Gabriel, right? Is he lengthy? Yeah, he must be. He must yeah, he is. He is. Wow, he's slow. Okay. Honestly, I don't know who to choose. Who would you who would you take? But Smigel definitely not, right? Yeah, let's say Gabriel. But he will be no use. That's the issue. I cannot replace for um, Rudiger. I would never do it. That's the only thing. <clears throat> so should we just take Smigel for the rating? I think we take Smigel. So I'm not going to use him. Next. Smigel again. <laughs>
Okay. Please just give me one that I can use, please. I, I don't know what to do anymore, man. I can't pack shit. And we didn't even finish high this weekend, nigga. I don't get it. We did not finish high and we still get shit. I, I think I blacklisted from EA. Man, are you kidding me? Since we have started FIFA 23, we haven't packed shit. We didn't even pack a player higher than 86. 86 or higher. The highest we packed was Smigel. Is, is, can you be blacklisted from EA Sports? I know they have a red list. I know this. Because streamers pack, but I'm not uh, the golden boy. But do they have a blacklist? I'm just wondering if I'm on a blacklist. Because I've made two scripting videos, remember? And one uh, went viral. Rare players pack, also pack. Let's go, let's open. Let's open. <laughs> Stream my luck, but you're not listening for that? No, definitely not. Valverde. Schuler. What do we have in the back? Do we have anything? Uh, let's get some coins. What about these? They are untradeable. Okay, they're untradeable. <laughs> I can't deal with this game. I can't. I can't play this game. I have to stop playing this game. This can't. The, is this the best you give me? Is this this is this for real? I can't. What is fu I have performed bad this wiggly. Why do I get this? I should be getting W rewards. This is what noobs does. Oh my god. I can't even get excited, chat. This is actually horrendous. <laughs> I even chose the wrong one. But see, I, I'm choosing... Ah, fuck this game. I can't even choose correctly right now. We have a pack to go, so maybe we'll pack something there. Yeah, oh, but it, it, sh it should be better, bro. It should be better. The pack is just the pack weight is so off on my account. I wish that I was a noob, but I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not a noob. That's the problem. I'm not a noob. Let's open. Last player. I can't play this game. I cannot play this game anymore. I don't know what to do chat I try to be positive optimistic every stream 
every weekend league. But this, how can I improve my team? Well, how much do I have? I have eighty-seven thousand. <laughs> That's what I have. I can't believe it. Like how? How is it not? How can I not pack one fucking good player? I don't get it. Like I must be blacklisted. I this this cannot be true. Since FIFA 23 has started, we haven't packed anything. And that is the truth. We we haven't packed any big tradable players. Not over 100 k Nothing. And we open a lot of packs. We we play very hard. We grind this game, you know. It's just how it is. And for, for the gameplay, I know a lot of you experience the same. This mother gameplay where you can't pass it. Your opponent gets a weird goal out of nowhere. You have the, the ball position, but still he wins. There's, you can see the momentum is shifting from side to side in the game. Like, what is this? This is computer-generated AI bots you play against. This is not real life. If this is real life based, why doesn't EA Sports just say it? Just say that we are using moral in the game, aka DDA scripting, because DDA scripting is moral. Because if you miss with your Cristiano Ronaldo, the most likely next time we'll shoot, he will also miss because moral based, confident based. That's the only explanation to the scripting in DDA, RNG, and stuff. Why EA Sports don't want to fix the servers? <laughs> because they don't want people to have a good experience with the game. It's obviously, you know. I have bad connection to the ES servers. Uh, it's just how it is. And I know people out there have even worse connection than myself. I can't even imagine. But these are big issues that we have in FIFA. And of course, ESports will not fix this because they're making too much money. This is how it is. Now, for the team, I will show you. I've changed it a lot. And. Um, too much because as i don't pack anything this is what i have uh, this is what we are running with we have kurt right now that we're using but we're actually using the Bruin instead when his lol will go up because i can't afford kurt how much is kurt he is like 315k thousand yeah 300 thousand or something like that like we don't have that money we don't have it because we don't pack anything wiggle league we don't pack anything in rivals we don't pack anything in squad battles so whatever we do we don't and if we do we pack uh, untradeable well, what can you use untradeable players uh, how you, you see i have untradeable players on my bench untradeable of course untradeable of course untradeable 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 I, I mean, uh, this is what they give us. Untradeable players. And by the way, this is my best pack poll this year. Vinicius Jr. This is the best one I've packed, okay? And um, I opened a lot of packs, you know? I have invested money into this game as well. And this is what I got. This is what I get. And um, it's just crazy to think that this is how it is. But you can see I haven't changed much into this uh, team. Colabali instead of Verdiger. We have uh, Cancelo again instead of uh, Mendy. We have... What do we have? I think, yeah, it's, it's the same team, you know? It's, it's the, that's what I could change from the Wigan League rewards, from this Wigan League. The, the money, the coins that I got, that is what I could change, you know? That's all. I just hope that EA Sports realizes how messed up their game is. The, the things need to change it cannot be all about the money you know this is the last year that fifa uh, and ea are together fifa and ea are gonna split up going side to side because ea sports wouldn't give one billion dollars to keep the license with fifa i'm talking about greediness this is how greedy ea sports are and um this is why quite frankly I don't know if we ever gonna get a, a game uh, that is good again. I don't know if we're ever gonna go back to this model. FIFA 13. This is the best game ever made from FIFA 13 and downwards. 
the game was brilliant. Uh, the servers was great. Everybody was was nice to each other. When you celebrated on the pitch, you even wrote to the opponent, how do you do that celebration? To learn now, if you do a celebration, while well, you're not even uh, you're looking away because you just scored a goal, ah, scored a goal, and the guys, your AI is celebrating for yourself. That's not on purpose, but that will count as toxic. But I'm going to tell you, back in these days, 13 and downwards, it was not the case. Money-wise, it was not the case as well. They were not greedy. The game was pure. But since, of course, FIFA 14, as I showed you, and upwards until this game, it's been about money. And this is annoying because this is destroying the gameplay for so many people. Even people who want to go pro, but live in, uh, I don't know, if in Africa, live in North Africa, and you have the server in South Africa. Now, how can you go pro if the, the distance is too far? You know what I mean? Then you have the Spanish server, but still, there's too much MS for you to go pro. There's nothing fair about any of these things. So I hope sincerely that EA Sports fix these things because... Quite frankly, I'm tired, and I'm tired to put money into the game to be able to compete at a high level. Because with this team, this team can compete at, I would say, Division 1, Division 2. Um, elite Division, no, I would have to change the, the team completely. This team is outdated. It's not, you can't play with this team constantly in Elite. You would eventually lose. And hitting 20 and 0 rank one with this team is not possible. At least not now. You need you need pay to win players. You need very high quality players because the game is evolving, evolving, evolving. And if you don't keep up with the game by the newest Vinicius Jr., the newest, I don't know, R9, whatever, you get the point. <laughs> You'll have a very hard time hitting. 20 and 0. I know a lot of pro players showing tactics on TikTok and stuff, but they're showing tactics with their super expensive teams that doesn't make sense. And then they say, I have a road to glory. Who cares if you have a road to glory? Do you play on that every single weekend? Do you hit a 20 and 0 every single weekend with that team? No, you don't. So stop, stop showing your tactics. It doesn't matter. This game is pay to win. That will be all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I talk a lot, but when I'm very passionate as I am, I have a lot of passion for FIFA. I can't stop talking. Drop a like down below. Drop a comment what you think about this issue. I'll catch you next time.